This is the story of Lawrence Warunge, a Kenyan IT student from Mount Kenya University in Thika, Kiambu County, who confessed to murdering four members of his family and one worker in the next compound. In January 2021, the 22-year-old man confessed committing the multiple homicides. The claims were collaborated by autopsy reports on the postmortems conducted on his victims. The victims that we're talking about here were his parents, that is, his father, Nicholas Njiroge Warunge, the mother, Anne Wanjiku, brother by name Christian Njenga, and the adopted nephew, Maxwell Njenga. There was also a farmhand by name James Kinyanjui, and all this was happening at Karura Village, Kiamba, in Kiambu County. Lawrence confessed to have killed the worker first, that is James Kinyanjui, by hacking him to death and slitting his throat open using a knife that he had acquired by help of his girlfriend, Sarah Muthoni. He later proceeded to his parents' house where he cut the electricity supply and lit a fire outside the kitchen door, which attracted the attention of his mother. When Ann Wanjiko, the mother, came to see what was going on outside, he hit her with a metal bar and slit her throat, killing her. The adopted nephew came to rescue the troubled auntie and was also killed. He went on to look for his brother and found him hiding under his bed. Oh, poor boy, tried to beg with his elder brother not to kill him, but Lawrence could not hear any of it and therefore killed him also. He later went to attack his father. Father did not know what was going on, but on seeing that he was in danger, he jumped from the balcony and got incapacitated and could not move. Therefore, Lawrence went down using the stairs and stabbed him 34 times, killing him. After all was done, he showered, ate the food that the mother was cooking, and slept on his father's bed. He left the following morning by four, carried everything he had used for the murder, and got a ride from a lorry that was transporting bread, and head all the way to Nakuru in Jikaze, Maimahu, where the girlfriend Sarah had a home there. Lawrence was arrested two days later in a family member's house where he had gone to seek refuge in Kabete. It is the family member that told the police that he was there. After confessing to the murder, Lawrence agreed to taking the detectives to where they had burned the evidence and some were retrieved from a pit latrine where they had thrown in and some items were discovered, uh, including the shoes and the clothes that he was putting on during the act. I believe that this was was not the first incident in the family as Lawrence had gone to the chief some time back and reported that his mother wanted to bewitch him. The mother came and took him home, claiming that he had a mental issue. When he was asked why he committed the murders, he said that his parents were satanic and that he had suffered in hands of neighbors and households as he formally neglected him to focus on their jobs and on their lives. And this really affected his self-esteem. He also mentioned that his act was inspired by Killing Eve, a series that is widely watched in the the world where Villanelle is very good and very confident in killing other people and not getting caught. Lawrence Warunge faced life imprisonment in Kenya's unforgiving prisons if found guilty of murder and up to now he's still behind bars and still he has not been charged. Well, dear listeners and viewers, thank you so much for keeping it locked. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe and thank you to my three subscribers up to this point. I really appreciate. Thank you so much. Feel free to share, to comment, to like or to give me your opinion. Thank you.